Is Richard Kid finished to y'all or not? He be previewing new music. Look like he got some shit coming. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like Rich. And by the way, I, I see he has some kind of decent features. I've seen him in some features recently. Not bad. But Rich the Kid needs a hit. Like, you, you always compare Rich the Kid to French Montana. French Montana always gets a hit when he needs a hit. As soon as he needs a hit, got the hit. Right now, Rich the Kid needs a hit. Like, the feature's cool, but he needs he needs another uh, plug walk. He needs another new freezer. He needs it right now. Like, French always on time with his hit. As soon as you might, you might be like, yeah, that nigga French is done. He come with another one. He might be dancing. Shit, we might just take another nigga song. Fuck it. Nah, y'all trying to say Uzi and his career. Nah, man. Nah, yo, Rich ain't bad. I just think he needs a hit right now. I think, yo, if if, if Rich if Rich is he, he's gonna be flaming hot. Pause. If he get like a blueberry fago, all he needs is just one breakout song. He gonna drop an album. He gonna do good numbers. He's straight. He just needs a hit right now though. Somebody says he's done. Nah, he just need a hit song. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck Tori said? Did he say you know my name, though? The only thing I'm shooting at is your bitch hole. Like, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> nah, what Tori said? Nah, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'll put words in Tori's mouth. What that nigga say? Yo, Tori. <laughs> Tell me Tori ain't just uh, testify. Yo, Meg listen to the song Punch in the Air, yo. Meg listen to the song like, I'm putting this short-ass midget in jail. Fuck that. <laughs> yo, remember when Meg was like, yo, I'm not about to tell on this nigga. I kept it real. I want to put my black brothers. I didn't want to tell the cops the truth because I know how the cops treat black men. Tori started, Tori went live and did one quarantine radio. She said, fuck that, he shot me. Fuck it. He did it. Tori did it. <laughs> fuck that. Told that nigga expeditiously. Tori now trying to have fun with this shit. Only thing you shooting at a bitch? Yo, when she gets to... <laughs> Yo. Meg looking at herself right now like, I'm putting that nigga in jail. It's all right. It's all right. These bars are going to sound good when you're behind bars. <laughs> Those bars are going to sound good when you're behind bars, nigga. <laughs> nah, nah. So Soldier might be having a comeback of a lifetime. He got the Make It Clap shit working in the streets. He got this with the remix. He got some new shit talking about. Shit. Yo, Soldier is so genius. If you got one hit, why think of another song? He have Make It Clap, and he's like, Make It Bop. That's the new song. Fuck it. Yo, this nigga Soldier Boy is like a fucking genius, bro. Like, I once you see how much of a finesse that nigga is, you... At some point, you got to just stop hating on him. Like, at some point, you just got to be like, yo, this thing is good, bro. <laughs> like, yo, enjoy his entertainment. Fucking entertainment, nigga. I used to, I remember when I found out that Soulja Boy ain't really buying a $6 million crib. I was like, ah, I'm exposing him on YouTube. Then now I just realized, nigga, it's Draco. Leave that nigga alone. That nigga been in this shit for 20 years. He's just having fun. He don't give a fuck. Let that nigga live. I'm telling you. Nigga, I gave up. I just be like, yo. You know what? This shit is kind of funny. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. Like, Soulja Boy's entertainment. Okay? It's entertainment. Like, if this was... Remember when me and Soulja was going back and forth? If this was like three, four years ago? Nigga. I'm Googling it. Was he really the first rapper with the iPhone? Nigga, I would have found the first nigga with the iPhone. And I would have exposed him. But now, like, bro, it's Big Soldier. It's Young Draco, man. Get the... Bro. Whatever he says, go, bro. That nigga's just classic fucking entertainment. Yo, listen to this song. When Soulja Boy got a hit. <laughs> By the way, I like how he puts in parentheses now, right? Soulja Boy puts in parentheses. Of all his YouTube videos. He calls himself Big Draco. By the way, salute to the security guy right here. Like, he a dope dude. He made sure my niggas got in for the verses. Appreciate him. Keep telling y'all. You know why Soldier Boy is going to work in this era? Is this Kitty from the Nile right there? This nigga's Kitty from the Nile? Yo, you know why Soldier Boy is going to work in this era? Soldier Boy came in 
by having little kids do the dance. You know, that Superman, you know what I mean? All that shit. You, he could do the same shit by manipulating TikTok. And Soldier Boy is smart. He know how to fuck with the algorithms. And when he's popping all this shit, I'm the first rapper to do this. All oh, y'all pussy niggas. You know, when he started doing that, he knows he gonna go viral. So he goes viral. He does some shit like this. He probably produced most of these beats himself. He freestyling. It catches a little viral. He make up a dance real quick. TikTok people, you know, TikTok, like them little, like some of them influencers, they don't know what they do and they just need a nigga to make a dance for whatever song they gonna copy it. Soulja got the formula. Soulja got, yo, Soulja Boy figured out the formula for this age. This is a new ringtone rap. H. If you could manipulate TikTok, you could be the 2021 ringtone rapper. Ringtone rap is literally songs that pop off on a one-off on TikTok these days. That's what ringtone rap is. Ringtone rap was some shit where you know the nigga couldn't really rap or you don't really give a fuck about him, but his hot song sounds good when you're, when you're f fucking phone ring. Same shit with TikTok. You don't even know some of these artists. Now, you know Sons Boy, clearly. But you don't, like, Pop Hunter niggas ain't know him. His song to start popping. Corvette, Corvette, you know what I mean? The dance popped off, lit. Not gonna lie, Soulja Boy got some shit here. I'm glad that he's back to having fun on hooks. Remember, for there was a period of time, Soulja was just trying to sound like a killer too much. Like, you could rap about the Draco and shit in the verses, but, like, make the, make the hooks kid-friendly, relatable. Like, that's what people don't realize about Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy's biggest demographics is always going to be little kids that think his music is fun and like doing the dances. So all that tough talk Draco shit, adults are not, never going to believe that. It sounds funny. Like, we're going to laugh with you or laugh at you. But make it fun, right? On the hooks, nice little dance. You got it, brother. I'm going to tell you another reason why Soulja is great. If you, if you listen to music good, Soulja Boy recorded this shit in his crib. He ain't recorded this in the studio. I can tell you, I'm telling you this. You could hear, he probably he probably just mixed it on the spot too. You could tell like it don't really sound and, and, and this is his vocals. Everything should be tracked out. And you could tell it's a little bit, not like a well-produced song, but it works because these days you can record a song anywhere, really. Yo, yo let me tell you something also about like charisma and being a star. Being around Soulja Boy and even watching him at the verses, even like motherfucking um, rehearsals, this is what some of the newer rappers don't have. They don't have personality. Soulja Boy, like, that nigga gonna make you laugh, man. That nigga, like, he lives in his own world. Like, that nigga is so much on Soulja Planet that, like, he's a character. And you need to be kind of a character, you know what I mean, to, to, to really entertain. He don't give a fuck about what you think. It's about what he thinks.